Cordyceps is a fungus that literally lives on the heads of caterpillars. And while there's over 750 different species of Cordyceps out there, Cordyceps sinensis gets the most attention. That's what we're going to focus on in this video for the most part. It's renowned to be an antioxidant, help the kidneys function. But in this video, I want to look at the evidence for Cordyceps improving exercise performance interest in cordyceps as an exercise supplement, at least in the West, may have stemmed from athletes in China who shattered world records in the early 1990s after their coach had stated that their running performance abilities stemmed from intense high altitude training and a tonic made from caterpillar fungus. So they trained intensely and they trained at higher altitudes, both of which are important for improving exercise performance. So was it those things or the cordyceps that improved their abilities? Let's see what the other research has to say. Effects of CS4 cordyceps senescence on exercise performance in healthy older subjects, a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. So we have 17 people in their late 50s who are given either a placebo or about 1,000 milligrams of cordyceps senescence each day for 12 weeks. After the 12 weeks of taking cordyceps, the metabolic threshold, which I take to be lactate threshold, increases by about 10%, and the ventilatory threshold increases by approximately 8%, which sounds impressive until you look at the actual numbers. I'm sorry, but I don't see a big difference here. Remember, these people in this study are not athletes. If we're talking real athletes, then this might make a difference. But since these are basically everyday people, I have to wonder if these small improvements would be noticed by anybody. Also, for the athletes watching this video, there were no improvements in VO2 max from cordyceps sinensis. We also have this paper where cyclists took 3,000 milligrams of Cordymax for five weeks. The results showed no improvement in exercise performance. Now, further complicating this conversation is this investigation where the researchers used another species of cordyceps called Cordyceps militaris, where people in this study used 4,000 milligrams for between one and two weeks. And the results revealed that Cordyceps militaris not only appeared to improve VO2 max, aerobic ability, but also this supplement appeared to lengthen the time it took for people to exhaust themselves during exercise, both of which of these factors would be of big benefit to athletes. Now, on the downside, however, this study only had 28 people. And even more importantly than that is that cordyceps was not the only thing tested in this investigation. The supplement tested also contained other ingredients as well, which means if this effect is really legit, we don't know if cordyceps militaris was the key determining factor or not. In some studies, cordyceps is actually combined with rhodiola to see if the combination makes a superior ergogenic supplement. In this study, 14 non-athletes in their early 20s are given the cordyceps rhodiola combination, ranging from between 1 and 2,000 milligrams a day for up to 8 weeks, in addition to an indoor cycling program. So it's reported here that the supplement combination of cordyceps and rhodiola led to a faint positive change in body composition. And I think faintly here is the right word for it because if we look at the actual improvements, we see a tiny boost in lower limb muscle mass and an equally small loss of body fat in the arms. Yes, the changes are clinically significant, but I doubt anybody would notice it. Bottom line here, I'm skeptical of these results until better studies are conducted. So I'm not yet prepared to throw cordyceps under the bus completely. It may have other benefits, but when it comes to exercise, so far, I just don't see it. The research so far that's been conducted shows that cordyceps does not appear to have any significant effect on exercise performance in athletes. Now, one problem with the research is that I'm not impressed with any of them, to be honest with you. I think better studies need to be undertaken, and I'm looking forward to when that actually happens. But more importantly than the research, you tell me, did cordyceps help your exercise performance? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.